I'm Derek Berthelot. I'm the sales manager at Eagle Lift. Uh, we're on site here in Brisbane, California, about seven miles south of downtown San Francisco. The building that we're working on here is about 45,000 square foot. About 5,000 square feet of that is an office addition. The remaining 40,000 square feet is a warehouse. In the early 1900s, there was a railroad corridor that was built that ended up creating a lagoon on this west side right here. The project site that we're on was initially part of that lagoon. In the late 40s, early 50s, the lagoon was filled in. And then in the mid 60s, this building right here was built on top of it. So over the years, that bay mud has slowly compressed and caused the, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of settlement that, that we have right now. Our design here, our plan was to go in with push piers every six foot on center around the entire perimeter of the building. That totals about 170 push piers. And then from there to go on the inside and inject a, a two-part expanding polyurethane to fill the voids and then go ahead and, and assist with lifting that interior slab back up to grain. The polymer and the piers complement each other well. Uh, the piers support the exterior perimeter wall and foundation while the polymer returns the load back to the soil. Um, it also spreads the load evenly as opposed to the point loading of the piers. Fills the void and you can lift large surface areas at a time versus small points with a pier. So the inside of the, the building in the 5,000 square foot office section it was built without any sort of structural reinforcement in the slab. There's no rebar, no wire mesh. So the condition of, of the slab, it's, it's cracked uh, pretty severely on its way down. Because we do a gradual lift, we're not lifting the thing up quickly. It's, it's very slowly, about a quarter inch, a quarter inch at a time over several hours. We're able to lift the building up while we inject on the inside in that office portion to go ahead and bring it up slowly to prevent a lot of further cracking. And using the system that we use of, of slowly lifting the building, we didn't make any cracks worse as we went. So to lift this building, it's gonna take multiple guys on the guns. Um, we're all injecting at the same time. I got guys walking around monitoring with zip levels, laser levels, micrometers. Uh, we also got experienced sets of eyes just making sure everything's up to par. We'll be lifting the outside of the building uh, while we're injecting simultaneously on the inside. It'll be a back and forth game. A lot of finesse, being real gentle, a little here, a little there. On the inside of the warehouse, the perimeter is down about 10 inches on this back corner. The inside has a bowl in it down to about 15 inches. So the center section is about five inches lower on the center than it is out here on the perimeter. So our plan was we went on the inside, we lifted that five inches up using our two-part expanding polyurethane system to match the elevation of the outside. Now that it's gradual and it's the same level on the inside as the outside here, we're gonna do a combination of lifting a hydraulic lift with our push piers as we inject on the inside to bring that remaining 10 inches up gradually. A project like this requires an experienced team and if we didn't have that experience uh, one would expect the team to come in here and just start lifting the slab in one area without considering the surrounding areas that are also still low and then you'll get differential cracking, breaking of the slab, especially because it's unreinforced um, you would do more damage. According to the soils investigation, the determination was made that the majority of the settlement has occurred already. Uh, they still expect anywhere from one to two inches over the next 10 years. So our design was to come in, underpin the perimeter, stabilize that, and then rather than do any sort of uh, soil injection or densification deeper, was just to go directly below the slab, inject that two-part polymer for lifting and leveling purposes. Because the polymer is so lightweight, only four to 25 pounds per cubic foot, we're not adding a ton of weight on top of those poor soils that's gonna accelerate uh, that anticipated settlement that would be left in the building. So it's a good fix. We go in there, it's cost effective for, th for these guys to go ahead and have us lift the building back up without doing overkill of, of injection and trying to densify those, th that bay mud that, that's further down. 